Good evening from Washington. I'm Jillian Turner in for Brett Baer. Breaking tonight, Americans are growing concerned now about the potential for undocumented migrants to commit crimes after arriving in the United States. New poll out from the Associated Press Nork Center shows 40% of respondents saw the possibility of illegal immigrants committing a crime as a major risk. Immigration authorities say they are working to prevent that from happening. Fox News embedded exclusively with a team of ICE deportation officers out in Massachusetts and tracked down violent criminals out on the streets thanks to sanctuary policies. Correspondent Bill Malugin has that story out of Boston tonight. Hi, Bill. Jillian, good evening to you. We have got some breaking news tonight. Fox News can confirm that the Venezuelan illegal alien TikTok influencer Leonel Moreno is in ICE custody tonight. This is the guy who has gone viral in these TikTok videos he's been posting where he urges other illegal aliens to squat in the homes of American citizens. An ICE official telling Fox News one of their fugitive ops teams arrested him near Columbus, Ohio earlier today. And he is now in their custody, but he has not been ICE's only target here in the Boston area. We were with ICE as they took down four alleged child rapists and a violent MS-13 gang member all in a single morning. Any questions, you can talk to your team leaders. It's the pre-dawn hours in Boston. It has a real violent history. And this elite team of ICE deportation officers is briefing on their target list for the day. Illegal aliens charged with egregious crimes. All the targets today, every single one of them is an aggravated felony here in the Commonwealth. So these are the, really the cases that are the worst of the worst here in Massachusetts. ICE quickly takes down its first target, an illegal alien from Guatemala charged with aggravated child rape. Minutes later, ICE arrests a Colombian national charged with the rape of a child above age 14. I don't have enough officers or resources to tackle every one of these public safety threats. Are we going after the child rapist today, or are we going to go after that two times deported fentanyl dealer? Because we can't get both. ICE's next arrest, a combative MS-13 gang member from El Salvador, charged with a slew of violent crimes. <laughs> Officers then arrested this Brazilian man, charged with five counts of aggravated rape of a child. How are you guys not notified about a child rapist being released? Unfortunately, in Massachusetts, that's how it is with most of these sanctuary jurisdictions. A short time later, ICE took down their final target, a Brazilian gang member, also charged with child rape. Just this morning today, four accused child rapists and one MS-13 gang member. Those are the kind of people you're going after. That, that's every day up here in, in Boston. If those are the public safety threats that we really want to get off the street. It was a great day for the teams. That's five public safety threats that are in the community. Going to go ahead and victimize anyone else. And Jillian, I says those sanctuary policies here in the state of Massachusetts are putting their officers at risk as well as the public at risk. And they say those policies really only protect dangerous criminal aliens. As for all those guys they arrested, they tell me they're all going to stay in federal ICE custody until their local charges are resolved. Then ICE will seek to deport all of them. We'll send it back to you. All right, Bill Malugin out of Boston for us tonight. Thank you.